Accordance, the e-reader. This podcast is at the basic level. It requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software and no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. Did you know that Accordance is not just for Bibles? Accordance offers hundreds of e-texts for purchase, most of them centered around biblical and related studies. We usually call these modules because they include value-added features not available in your typical e-text. These value-added features include customizable fonts and backgrounds, hypertext links and instant details, advanced search capabilities, and easy amplification to hundreds of texts and tools. The basic reading window looks like this. Actually, it's simply an accordance workspace with a single pane and a single tab. If we like, we can click on the browser expansion triangle and see the table of contents where clicking on any of its titles will take us directly to that point in the text. Notice how easy the text is to read? It's easy to customize any text display in accordance, and no e-reader I know has as many choices available. This dialog box is available from within any tool. Just type Command-T. In addition to personalizing the font, color, size, and background, we also have the option of choosing the distance between lines, called letting, the size of any pictures in the tool, and the Bible translation to which it links. The settings shown here are my personal favorites. We can also take advantage of Accordance's integrated hypertext links. Don't know what a hypertext link is? It's an embedded bookmark to another place in the text or to another source entirely. Hover the cursor over one to see the first several lines in the Instant Details box, or click on it to read everything in another tab. Accordance's modules all have advanced search capabilities. In addition to the regular search entry box, tools in Accordance can be searched by multiple fields simultaneously. Just click on the expansion triangle next to More Options. Of course, you can amplify from any tool or text to any other tool or text. After all, this is Accordance. Select any word or reference and simply click on the resource palette to open the top tool in that category, or click and drag to open a different module. Either will open a separate tab where you can read all the information you just accessed. Now that we've reviewed these basic features, let's read an e-text of our own in Accordance. The one that I'm going to select is in my General Tools, and as long as I don't have anything selected in my text window, I can simply click on General Tools and drag down, and there I'll find Walter Kaiser's A History of Israel. I'll be using my scroll button to read today, and it happens to be on my mouse, and I find it the most convenient way to read long passages. Since we're not going to start from the beginning, I wanted to show you this browser and notice that I have auto size turned on in my preferences. That means when I move the cursor into the browser window, like I've done here, Accordance automatically expands that pane. When I move out of it to the text that I want to read, Accordance will expand that pane. At any rate, we want to look at part one, five, the story of Joseph. When I move back into the pane, notice it resized again, I can begin reading with my scroll button. And the first sentence says, There's no reason to doubt that a person called Joseph really existed or that his story found in Genesis 37 through 50 accurately reflects the period of Egyptian history, and so on. Now, normally, if I'm reading a book, if I want to look up a scripture reference, I have to put my book down, go and get my Bible and open it back up and look to that particular passage. In accordance, all I have to do is to move my cursor over that passage. This is one of those hypertext links we mentioned earlier. Notice that in the Instant Details box, I can read the first several verses of this passage, or if I want to read the entire passage, all I have to do is click on it. Notice that it's opened a new tab, the ESVS, and here's Genesis 37 through 50. Now, this is an external hypertext link, meaning it takes me outside of Kaiser's History of Israel. To return to the text, I simply click on that tab, and I can continue reading. Now, under Joseph's story, here in the first sentence, I see another hypertext link. Notice that if I put my cursor over it, it turns into that little magnifying glass. And there it tells me that Canaan is the name of the land between the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea. Now, in this case, this happens to be an internal hypertext link. How can I tell? When I click on it, notice that it takes me to the glossary in the book. I can tell that because the go-to box says glossary, Canaan. And here is the definition at the end of the book. 
And by the way, if I'm reading it and I wonder, well, what is this word Palestine? I can click on that and it takes me to another entry in the glossary. To go back to my text, all I have to do is to use this return triangle in the bottom navigation bar. I click it twice and I'm back in the text. And I can read Joseph's story once again. Now, as I go through here, I don't just have to, uh, I, I don't have to restrict myself to the hypertext links that are already there. For example, if I want to see where Joseph occurs in the biblical text, I can go over to the biblical text and click on my top English translation. And there I see that the word Joseph occurs 229 times in 216 verses. And of course, I can see where all of those places happen to be. When I'm done, all I do is return to my text and continue reading. I can do that with any module in accordance. As a matter of fact, I can do it with Joseph in, well, for example, the timeline. And I see that Joseph lives somewhere between oh, the early 1900s, uh, that would be BCE, folks, and died somewhere just after 1820. If I want to see the other kinds of things that occurred during Joseph's life, I click on the timeline there, and I can scroll down and find out what's happening in Mesopotamia, what's happening in Aram, what's happening in uh, uh, Israel and Palestine. And once again, I just simply click, and I return to Kaiser's History of Israel. If I'd like to look up Joseph in the New Bible Dictionary, I'll go over here to my Dictionary Stack or my English Tool Stack, do you notice that I'm here in an article entitled Genesis, Book of, the Story of Joseph? That means this isn't the main entry in Joseph. In fact, what Accordance has done is to search every entry in this Bible dictionary looking for the word Joseph. I can read all of them by simply clicking through the various marks. And that will take me through all that the Bible dictionary has to say about Joseph. To return to Kaiser's history, I'm also curious whether Joseph appears in the Qumran materials. So I'll go over to text, and rather than just clicking there, I drag it down to Dead Sea Scrolls, which is where I have my Qumran materials uh, organized, and I let go. And here we notice that it appears 45 times. And here again are the list of places where Joseph appears in the scrolls from Qumran. Now, I hope you're getting the idea that you can amplify from any text or any tool to any other text or any other tool in accordance. That's one of the things that makes reading in accordance so much better than any other e-reader. Let me give you one more example. As I read through this article by Kaiser on Joseph, one of the things that I notice is that he says Joseph's predicament is so similar to the famous Egyptological story named The Tale of the Two Brothers, or the story of Anubis and Bata. I'm just curious whether that tale of two brothers happens to appear in one of my other general tools, and that is specifically the context of Scripture by William Hallow. And here it is. This is the actual Egyptian text, or at least a translation of the Egyptian text. Accordance is a powerful, sophisticated e-reader. Consider taking advantage of it by purchasing additional books as modules. After all, with all these advantages, why would you even want to read a book in something else? The two books featured in this podcast are both on sale through February 14, 2010. That's William Hollow's three-volume Context to Scripture and Walter Kaiser's 540-page History of Israel. Both can be purchased and downloaded from our website, accordancebible.com either or both make for fascinating reading in accordance. This is Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Music.